Hello, I have come to you today to share another thing from convention. As you know, I had a ball. Now, what's crazy about convention is you get a Stampin' Up! convention, you get, you know, uh, this little book of what you're going to do. And I don't know, in the heat of it all, the crowds and the lines and what everything, it's really kind of challenging to keep track of the schedule. And so, like, in many cases, like this is my only my second time going, but both times I really didn't actually do everything that I planned to do because of a little bit of confusion. When I get back home, I still have my bag full of stuff and I can see what I didn't do. Well, one of the things that I didn't do was I didn't do this make and take. So they give us several make and takes that we do, and each one is so beautifully packaged. I really wish I could learn how to package the way Stampin' Up! packages their, their little make and takes. Because if I could, this would be definitely an Etsy store kind of a thing. But really nice packaging. The cover of it kind of shows you what you're going to make. Occasionally, not always, it'll have full instructions inside. Like the holiday kit had full instructions inside. Um, but sometimes you, you kind of count on the demonstrator, well, the, the, the home office staff that shows you how to do it from up front. Um, so I didn't do this project and it's about Project Life, which I'm pretty excited about. So I thought I'd discover it with you today. So what I've done in preparation of is I've just taken a few pictures from the conference and printed them and cropped them small, hoping that they'll fit. I don't know because I have not discovered this yet. They also gave us a package of embellishments that I may or may not use with this because you know, I'm fairly clean and simple so I don't, I don't put a lot of embellishments but I will open it to show you guys what's in there. So let's open this up and see what's inside together because I didn't get to do this. So let's open it up. Alright, so... No full instructions, so I really hope this is self-evidence. Um, what I have in here is I have some of the Project Life cards. Now they have small cards and larger cards, you'll notice, and they're all two-sided. So I do have Project Life. You saw the baby book that I did, so I have the kit for baby. Um, so I have seen them before. I haven't seen this exact one, though. Really pretty. I like the color palette. Um, and so, oh wow, this must be for Halloween. No tricks, just treats. And probably shouldn't be showing you some of this because it's holiday stuff, so, but it's okay. You just won't, you'll keep the secret, don't tell anybody. Alright, so it looks like I also need this plastic. And so this is, let me see if I can back up a little bit. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm a little tight. But this is a piece of I guess it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a sheet holder so that we can put our stuff inside. And at the top they have pockets. So there's a pocket here and there's two pockets here. Honestly, guys, this is the first time I'm discovering this, so be patient. So if I look at the instructions, um I can see that this piece right here is like a journaling strip. So that is not that one. It looks like it's this one. Yep. So that one is going to go up at the top. And of course, you know, I can journal on it and stuff. We'll, we'll just I'm just trying to get the, the setup together. And then on here on the bottom It looks like there is a, a clear sheet that I don't, might not have. Let me check in my embellishments. Yep, yeah, it's in here. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, fun stuff. So these are the embellishments. I probably wasn't supposed to show you the whole package. So don't look hard. Um, okay, so this has this little clear kind of a window sheet with a wood uh, impression on it and I think that's what we're seeing on the lower right hand corner and then the third one here 
is a picture with this behind it. So, then on the other side, you could leave this or you could cover it, but if I want to make it exactly like this one, the other side has this at the top. This on the lower corner. Okay, so I'm going to have to put it in from the other side. From the lower corner. Okay, so I've got that in the front. And then the last thing is this little heart, which I think is going to get put on the other side there. So I think I have everything kind of set up in here. And I'm serious, what, what I love about this, just kind of doing it together with you, super easy. I just kind of slide something in and make sure it coordinates, and they did that for me. But um, use anything. I think this one is perfect for writing a journal because it has grid lines in it, so I can write straight on it. Um, let's put some pictures in here. So this picture... So I think you have to kind of get used to sizing them. So this picture almost fits over here. It doesn't fit here. So, and I wouldn't want to cover those up actually. So I probably would crop that picture smaller. Let's try this picture. Now that one looks really great right there. Kind of like, so that you can see the border of the yellow. That's somebody's desk in the home office, by the way. Um, these are some cards that my upline and I made for a contest they had. Let's put them both right here. So this one is the one that Beth made. And this one is the one that I made. And we can... They don't have to be straight, kind of interesting. And then here's Michelle and Beth. They are my, like, I think I almost have two uplines because one upline is out of town. And so she, this is Beth, she's my real upline. But since she's out of town, she kind of gave Michelle the job of um, taking care of me. So I'm going to put those two up here because that will actually give me less to write. Not that I don't love writing. But over here, I'm going to write about them and how much I appreciate them for being so wonderful. This picture also doesn't actually fit, but I think, no, I think I'm going to have to hold off on that and crop this one down. So I'm going to show you that you can literally just crop a photo down, either with a die cut, like I could take a circle die cut or a circle punch. Let's, let's do circle punching, even though I'm scared to do this on camera. Grabbing my circle punch. I'm kind of scared to do this on camera in case in case the the print is too thick. But hey, I I can print this photo a thousand times. It's okay. Let's do this one because I kind of like these two girls. I wish I could get them. Yeah. So here's those two happy stampers. And again, you want to pick photos that you know you play with for a while. I didn't do that. So here's just a punched out photo of two stampers. I don't even know their name. They were just at my table. So you kind of, and we do meet, but there you go. So there's uh, the two happy stampers doing their make and take. There's our two cards at the top. And I guess I, after I decide how I want this to sit, I would might probably glue them down to the, to the project life. I don't ever throw away my backings because I use them for the book fronts and backs. I don't know if you know, but check out my channel. I make books. So what can we put? So we're going to write up here. What can we put here? So the challenge about here for me is that that space is, is clear. So I have to put something on each side, kind of. Um, I like the word thankful. Thankful is on there. Let's see. We also have in this package some... Oh, we got words. So it's like a, the package has... And I'm sure you can't see this, but there are little letters that you can punch out. So let's punch out... See if we can punch out the date. Uh, so 7. And I'm putting it right on top. Doesn't hurt. 
that's too it's not showing up but that's the number seven I don't like that because it's not showing up so we might have to put that on a on a different color background uh, scare up some fun I don't know maybe that would be better there this says Merry Christmas these are just little embellishments and these are confetti um, so just for now I'm gonna put the confetti in here <clears throat> now if this was real life you know like if I was really doing this project and there wasn't a camera sitting in my face like there is right now I would probably sew the edges of this and that means I'm not gonna change out the photos but what I mean by that is I would put this in my sewing machine and sew at least this top edge right here but I probably sew all the way around which would make that area right there a um, shaker area and the reason why I would like to put these in there is because we did so much confetti this is must be a new product or something um, that I don't think I noticed but we did so much of it that it was everywhere it was in my suitcase it was on the floor it was everywhere so having it as a memorandum in my Project Life page is perfect. Try out Project Life. I think this is a really cool thing. I think if you like embellishments, a lot of embellishments, you'll really enjoy these kind of things too. Uh, again, I didn't glue down, but you might want to glue down um, the different things that you do um, onto the cards. You might not either. So it depends on what you want. And I'm just going to show you that all these punch outs are so easy to punch out. I'm doing this with you. And there I can put thank you, thankful. Because I'm thankful for our community of demonstrators and for getting to know these people. I'm really thankful. So I think that's a good word. So notice that I put that on the top. It doesn't have to be on the card. It could just be on the top of the plastic. And then this whole piece, after I journal in there... And maybe I'll journal over here or I'll put, you know, like again, these um, these little embellishments that you have, you can put wherever you'd like. So let's just, um, I think I like that kind of pointed up. You know, so you can put embellishments on your pages according to, you know, the season and stuff. These are really cool. I mean, I, I actually am impressed because I didn't think I would like it. Uh, being that I'm a scrapbooker um, and so a lot of times I like to invent the embellishments as opposed to buying them to me scrapbooking should be scrapbooking uh, but this is not scrapbooking what they're calling it is memory keeping and it doesn't have the complexity of steps no scrapbooking it's really fast so I hope you give Project Life a try I'll try and post a couple of examples of how I could put this together on my blog um, later on this week and uh, one more thing I wanted to show you I've been making these cute little thank you gratitude books out of the designer series paper this one is lullaby so you know this this one is a sneak peek of one of our holiday DSPs um, and inside what I've done is I've stamped the, from the trust God set it says God has given us two hands one to receive with and the other to give with and that's a quote from Billy Graham so I love this stamp set. It's called Trust God. And this is intended to be like a prayer book or a book where you can record your favorite scriptures. Um, and this is really cute and really easy to make. And I made like a ton of them for people um, to give them a sneak peek of the paper. So um, if you're one of my customers, you actually might get one of these for a sneak peek of the paper. Um, and check out my blog for some other samples of how you can go with those ideas, too. Um, just because of time, I didn't worry about a closure. I just put a rubber band on them for now because I'm going to decide whether I want to cover these in the front or whether I just want to show off the paper. Um, prayer books should be pretty simple and easy to use. It was great talking to you. Uh, I really enjoy everything we do, and I'm so grateful for the, for the time we spent together. Um, at the convention and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to share that with you uh, check out Project Life from my blog please go to my blog and click shop now and you can buy all these products there um, I appreciate when you show that you um, were inspired to buy um, and you purchased from me so thank you and have a great week please do something creative and have fun